What's up, Fox 10 Fox here, and today we are talking about the Radeon W2100, a workstation GPU by AMD that came with an i7-4790. It has 320 stream processors, takes a whole 26 watts of power, has two gigabytes of DDR3 memory, and only has DisplayPort 1.2 as its outputs. But it supports up to DirectX 12, which I was very surprised by, and I threw it in the ringer with some modern games, and I was actually quite surprised. So let's hop into the benchmarks. Now I started with Counter-Strike 2 at 720p at the lowest settings just to get a little bit of a baseline for where we could take this GPU. So if CS2 runs well, that means that we can run more modern games. And if it doesn't, then we have to go to older games. And CS2 at 720p with the lowest settings ran at 39 FPS. Quite frankly, I was surprised to see it run at all. So I held high hopes for eSports titles. So I threw it into Overwatch 2 at 720p with the lowest settings. We saw an average frame rate of 52, a 1% low of 34 and a 0.1% low of 21. So again, not a bad showing. And what I was able to do afterwards was throw on adaptive resolution, which is what you're seeing now. I apologize for the camera quality, by the way. This is how I had to record because the W2100 didn't support any real recording options and OBS didn't like it. So we just dealt with what we had. But with the adaptive resolution, I would say it didn't look awful, but it definitely looked blurry. Yet we were hitting a constant 60 FPS with this card, which was quite impressive considering the age of this card, which released in August of 2014. So I threw it in a game that was coming out around that time. And this is meant to be a workstation GPU. So I don't fault it for not really working too well with games. I just wanted to test them. GTA 5 at 720p with the lowest settings ran with an average frame rate of 42, a 1% low of 34, and a 0.1% low of 32. So we saw very consistent 1% and 0.1% lows. And if you're looking to play older AAA titles at 720p, then I guess this is a card for you. But at the end of the day, I don't recommend anybody buy this card. This was just for a little bit of fun. If you want to screw around with a card like this, be my guest. But I wouldn't buy it for any sort of gaming purposes. And honestly, if you're looking for like a display connector, it's not a terrible option. So I just wanted to see what this thing could do in 2023 and not a whole lot. But if you wanted to play esports titles, you could. If you still have this in your system, you got to upgrade or give it to your grandma. And otherwise, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, like, subscribe, do what you usually do. And as always, buy yourself something nice. Post editing Fox here. Just want to let you know I have an eBay account. The account name is PCNerd02, PCNERD02, where you can buy graphics cards that I've tested. I also have a Discord in the description down below, as well as a Patreon. Thank you so much.